to talk about RevitMEP. Okay, so I'm going to discuss about the user interface first of RevitMEP. Now, the first time you open, let's get started. The first time you open your Revit, the first window that you'll be seeing here right now, just like my window, you call this recent files window. So every time you launch Revit MEP, a startup window named Recent Files is displayed. So this window provides links to recently opened project or family files like this one. So this is my recently opened projects or created projects. And this is also my recently created or opened families. Okay, so this window is what you call Recent Files window. Now, I'm going to open a sample project to further explore the user interface of Revit MEP. I'm going to open this. Okay, so this video is very useful, especially if you're just starting using Revit MEP on your job or on your projects. Okay, now, so let us identify the primary user interface elements of Revit MEP. Okay. The big R that you're seeing right here on the upper left corner, this is what we call the application button. It opens the application's menu that provides access to common tools such as save, print, and publish. So if I click this, so you'll be able to see that uh, links, okay, or these tools that we commonly use in doing project or using Revit. Okay, not only on Revit MEP, but also on Revit Architecture and Revit Structure. So this portion is what you call Application Button. Now, you see this portion, this one, alright? So we call these tabs, Ribbon Tab. So it contains tools, settings, and standard functions. And only one tab can be active at a time. And the active tab is always on the top, right? like this one right so if i click for example architecture you'll be able to see here the tools for architecture structure and systems which is what we are going to use later on on the next uh, video that i will be creating okay so we'll be using these tools because these are the tools for revit mep so aside from that you also have insert annotate tab analyze tab blah 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 okay so this portion of Revit is what we call ribbon tabs okay so just below your ribbon tab this portion is what we call panels okay so this portion is what we call panels so group but uh, groups of buttons for similar functions and tools like for example HVAC panel so you can see here the tools that we are using for HVAC Okay, so we call this ribbon tab. So we call this ribbon panel. Okay, groups buttons for similar functions and tools. Like for example, this is for HVAC, this is for plumbing and piping, this is for your electrical. Okay, so these are the tools for my electrical, for the plumbing and piping, fabrication, mechanical settings or equipments, and this is my HVAC tools here. So we call these panels. And then as you notice, some of the tool here has this arrow. Okay? So this arrow. So we call this split button. So split or up split button, it opens a drop down with actions for the particular tool. Like for example for the device. So I call this device split button. Why? Because you see there's an arrow. If you click this, so you will see. Uh, these different tools here okay and also component so if I click the component you will see here the different tools place a component model in place okay so we call that a split button so it opens a drop down with actions for the particular tool okay so these are the uh, ordinary button here okay so this is what we call split button okay now Aside from that, some of the panels here on our systems tab, you see there's an arrow that is pointing to the lower right corner, okay, just on the right side of the panel name, 
like for example the plumbing and piping see there's an arrow okay so we call this as dialog launcher so if I click this dialog launcher it opens a dialog box right you see if I click that it opens the mechanical settings dialog box so same with my electrical Elec my electrical panel also has this dialog launcher so if I click this it opens the electrical settings dialog box all right so every time you see a panel that has this arrow so you call that dialog launcher not only on your systems if I go to the structure there's also the uh, there's also dialog launcher okay which is very useful in setting up the settings of your project okay so aside from that let me move on to another tab let's say I go to the uh, annotate okay so if I go to the annotate tab you will see there the panel name again and there's a drop down arrow below pointing below the other one is this one right which is the dialog launcher so if you see a panel name with this arrow beside on it this is what we call expanded panel dimension expanded panel so if I click this as you can see it expands a panel to display available actions and is indicated by an arrow next to the panel right this one okay so you can temporarily pin an open expanded panel like if I click this you see there's a pin here right so if I put my pointer back to the drawing area you will notice it will not uh, disappear it will not be hidden why because it's pin okay so you can pin that and also you can unpin it just click again and then just put back again your pointer here and then it will be hidden now so that is what you call expanded panel okay next on the right uh, right side of your user interface so you can see this portion here this is what we call project browser which is one of the very important user interface or part of the Revit okay why because project browser uh, you can think of as the table of contents of your project because it uh, shows you here all the views schedules sheets and families on the current project that you are working on okay so it displays a tree view of a logical hierarchy of all views schedule sheets and families in the current project okay so aside from the project browser you also have this uh, status bar so it displays the name of the family and element type when you position the cursor over an object okay so this is what we call the status bar it displays tips or hints when you use a comment okay so aside from the status bar <coughs> okay so aside from the status bar you also have this portion here which is what we call the view control bar it provides shortcuts to commonly used view commands such as the scale or model graphics display like the visual style okay so this part of the user inter uh, interface is what we call the view control bar all right you can still follow project browser status bar view control bar and of course this is our view window okay or our drawing area or our design area okay so we call this another term we call this as view window so aside from that we also have this portion here which is the navigation bar okay this navigation bar in case you close it accidentally or unknowingly you can still access that by going to the view tab user interface and then you will see here your navigation bar you can actually turn on and turn off also here your project browser in case you close the project browser accidentally you can just check it here or uncheck if you want okay so we call this navigation bar this is our view cube it works as an orientation con uh, works 
as an orientation control for 3D views. That is only for 3D views. Okay, so this portion, if you click, you will see the applications menu. So we call this application menu. Provides access to many common file actions. You can also access advanced options such as export, publish to manage the files. So aside from the application menu, you also have this portion here which is what we call the quick access toolbar. So the quick access toolbar displays the commonly used actions such as undo, redo, changes, which you can use on these files. So you can customize the default quick access toolbar by adding tools from the ribbon. Like for example, if I go to the systems, if I want to add the DAP here on my quick access toolbar, all I have to do is to right click the DAP and add to quick access toolbar. Just click that, right? just right click and then click. So it will now be added here. Right. Okay. That would be all. On the next edition of Learning with Rich, I'm going to show you the other user interface that we can use in Revit MEP. So until then, take care.